Hello everyone, I'm Kim McDonald, the only card here for this company back by the SV Wrestling YouTube bro, and today it's gonna be the show before Havoc. Havoc is coming very soon, it's gonna come on the 4th of December. We cannot, I cannot wait for those type of matches like, you know, Chris Jericho vs. Elias, Edge vs. FKC10. And uh, today's match is gonna be Todd, the one that has the scam out. And one half of the India Alliance go up against the Universal Champion, the Undertaker. Undertaker is gonna fight one of the members of the Indian Alliance before he fights the leader. And defense the Universal Championship for you. It's T Series at Havoc. Let's see. I can't wait to see T Series get shit rocked here. But uh, right now we have um, this unknown superstar named Mordecai making this somewhat promo to Chad Tyler. But I'm not sure what he's going to say. I have no idea about him. But uh, let's see what this bloke has to say. Oh mighty God. I have gifted an opportunity. To be in this company. I've been gifted. To be. In SME Wrestling. And I did. What I must. Do. Beat down. Any non-believer. Of the almighty God. Chad Tyler. You. Are nothing but pathetic. You have disobeyed our God. Of being a mighty warrior. But instead, you have proven yourself to be the most perfect person I have ever seen. And now I have it once I make my in-ring debut. You will be damned to hell. As SME Wrestling, welcome the Pale Rider. Well, that was a very interesting promo by Mordecai. Can we see him make his in debut at Havoc against Chad Tyler? And now we're gonna get this uh, match started. And uh, fucking hell. Here he comes representing the Scambots and the Indian Alliance Todd. He's pretty much the leader of the Scambots. But he's just a protege for a T series for the Indian Alliance. And uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's from India. And he has Indian voice. And he has Indian music going on. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely the tool. The Todd's definitely a tool here. He's a prick. Well, thankfully, he's gone to YouTube. He's not, not, not long do we see him in YouTube cons. He's a fake news now, but he's still here as me wrestling because we always remember him. Always remember the pain he delivered us in those YouTube cons. They want to be friends and all that shit. But now we don't have to worry about it, but we do have to worry about him being as me wrestling. But I can't wait to see you get shit rocked by the dead man. Oh, here we go. Todd's waiting for his death. There's the Universal Champion, I'm sure I see the two-time Universal Champion, The Undertaker. He won that title at Velocity against three Raptors in, uh, I was kind of expecting better from that match, but, uh, Undertaker got the victory and Raptors turned back to normal thanks to The Undertaker, so yeah. Without The Undertaker, without that match, Raptors would not be back to normal and it will still be a crazy biobond creature phantom. Yeah, Raptors back in all of his team, Team Raleigh, and now Antiku is going to move on from Team Raleigh. And now he's going to focus on the bloody Indian Alliance. And he's going to focus on T-Series coming Havoc soon. It's the show before Havoc, and Antiku is going to deal with Todd. It's so made like Todd doesn't you know, get involved at Havoc, but it would just be a trapped at NCS. So it would be a bit be a somewhat of a disadvantage, but still a little advantage, because at least it's not two managers. He will have just one match for T-Series. And Undertaker, yeah, he looks very into today. He's pretty much the most iconic wrestler here in any wrestling history, any wrestling company. Wherever you think, like, any wrestling, like, any iconic wrestlers, 
you merely feel of the Undertaker. But sure, you might think of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, The Rock, and others. But some of you may think of the dead man, the Undertaker. He is without doubt legendary. You know, the, all the lights have been risen. Yeah, I'm not sure if Todd is even ready to face against Demi because once you're in the ring with Demi, you get chills down your spine. Watch him do his grand entrance. Yeah, it's just, you know, spine chilling for these superstars here in SV Wrestling because they are very nervous to go up against the mighty, powerful dead man. And, uh, once I take the hat off, we got to get this match started. I can't wait to see Todd get beaten by The Undertaker. Oh yeah, let's get this match started. Here we go, Undertaker with his top for show before Havoc and Todd with a little elbow strike there. We're going for Herky Rana. Oh my god. Big regret there. Trick crowd go for the Undertaker. That was kind of like a sit up power bomb, not the last ride. Look at Taker go for Raw up here. Look for Rob to end it early, to end it just like that. End it middle. No, only a two count. Taker's not really good to Ross, but he tried to do flying clothesline. Yeah, he tried to end it quickly to get this over and done with to face T series to go defend. His Universal Championship. Yeah, Todd is not looking good for him. Oh, guys, going to get smashed into the top turnbuckle by Taker. And look at that there. Todd just getting mock rocked around as they expected in this match. Todd is not doing good at all. He's getting destroyed by the dead man. And this is good. This is good. I despise this game. That's a lot. Oh, damn, big takedown by Undertaker. Todd, look at Taker say he's a piece of trash. And Todd's getting back up. Uh, Taker, you ain't wasting any time once again. Back on, no, Todd being sneaky there, escaping on his grasp and kicks to the leg. Now there's Todd looking for an arch whip here. An elbow strike, oh, that elbow the game down. And now, learn that was a leg drop on, oh, no. Now this is where Todd's finally gets some attacks on to take her. Now he kicks to the back. Let's go, now let's go with a little head crank on Undertaker. That's the definite heel tactics from Todd. Yeah, this crowd do not, they do not like Todd, they do not like the scam bots, and of course they do not like the Indian Lions to take over the big lariat to Todd. And Todd's once again hurt and down, he's once again beaten down. Now the Taker's working ahead. Oh, stop into that face. And I'll go for the first cover of the match, which, yeah, it's just going to be one count, because Taker's not going for his icon moves like the choke slam, the last ride, or the Hell's Gate, or the Tombstone, the most iconic finisher. Now I'll go for Ashford once again to the corner, and Taker's right get. Todd, but it's a tough though reversal, a big striker to the back. Now Todd looking for an iron strip again to the ropes. An elbow strike, oh, take it, missed it, reverse the, reverse the strike bars to elbow strike, there's Todd putting out. Take it back in the corner, but take your knee strike putting out. Todd in the corner, what's taking for he's doing? Lifting up Todd, oh Jesus Christ, man, oh my goodness, super arm drag. Big avalanche arm drag on the top, but Todd escapes the kick again. Oh my god, this knee strike to the back there. Now this Todd, this crowd, this crowd did not like Todd, just Todd will kick straight onto his gut, take it with a Russell, hits a Todd's le leg, and then a R whip, and that, oh, no, Todd, Todd, Todd just dispersed it, that's, what is this here, oh, oh my god, he's gonna torture Taker's back, he has, he has several, Taker has several injuries on his back, which is, uh, might be Taker's weak spot, but, uh, Taker kicks out of one, there's not enough Taker the dead man, there's a little elbow strike, oh, Taker, don't, no, Todd, don't you say Taker's a piece of trash, he's, He's legendary. You've never faced anyone like the dead man before. Oh my god, drop you to the back. He's just aiming for the back there of Undertaker. He's just aiming for the back. And that was good for another arch whip over to the ropes. Big drop down. Oh, once again, elbow strike. That completely connected. Oh, stopping a show off, Todd. And now he's going for the cover here. But yeah, again, it's only a one count. It's only one count. Taker. So like, get back up. Straw. Oh, now Taker reverses Todd there. But once again, Todd just catches him. Freaking prick. An elbow strike by Taker. He, he's reversed that with that one. Oh, close the wall. No. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. He's gone for head scissors. Oh, my God. Just spring Dante. Taker needs to go for a bounce back here. Once again, going for the cover on the Taker. But once again, he kicks out. Taker once again kicks out. Not a good for Undertaker. Well, look at that. Look at Todd. Just the dumbass heel. Oh, no. Taker. Reverses Todd. He's followed with something. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Big choke slam, choke slam! What an impact! What an impact there, Todd? Yeah, that's got hurt him a lot. 
Oh, don't get up, Todd. Don't you dare get up. This is not going to end well for you. But he rolls out of the way. But oh, oh no, let's go for another Herky Runner. Taking the reverse of Herky Runner there. Oh, look at Todd just being all cocky. Being a cocky bastard. Has a taker on the ropes. And that will strike. Oh my god, this big cocky. And now they're going to take it on the outside. Another crab booing. Of course, they're booing out. They always build the scammer. All oh, takers. Reversing the. Tired of taking his game back, he does not want to do any action on the outside. He's sick and tired of it. He's sick and tired of people taking it outside for him. Oh my god, big drop into the face, to the front of the chest. Now it's this, what does Todd think he's doing? He's going to, oh, guillotine, leg drop, my god. Big leg drop there, now it's Todd. Trying to go for, just waiting for taking to get up, he's just mocking him. He's mocking the dead man, I don't think it's a good idea, uh oh. Oh, sweep him down, sweep him down, Todd. And Todd's escaping, Taker's telling her. Todd to come on, Taker's gonna go for that tombstone, where it feels like it. Strike, oh, no, nah, damn it, Todd. Stunning Undertaker, that little strike, oh, no, he's going for these, go for those suplexes. Oh, that back suplex. Now he's going for, go for now, German suplex. Now it's just Todd, he's taking her up, oh, now he's going just for basic suplex, just basic suplexes there. To Undertaker. Now it's something he's doing strong pricker. Oh no, Taker! Taker escapes and that's a big Larry yet! Big Larry by Taker! Now oh shit, here we go! It's the beginning of the end for Todd! Here we go, he has him up! Tombstone! Bio driver, that's gonna be it! Todd will be resting in peace! One, two, oh what? Come on! God damn it, T series! Call the scroll again. Here comes trapped on MCS. Getting a little bit hurt. Onto the Undertaker. My God. Oh, Jesus. A brain busting. What the hell is this? My God. Oh, the scam slam. Scam slam by trap down. That was Todd going for the old piece. Oh. Oh, the ultimate scam. Uh, hoist him up, boys. Hoist him up. The hoisting. Undertaker off for TC to go for something. Uh oh. I think he's calling for Solia Del Sol! Solia Del Sol! To the Undertaker! <laughs> yes, I've done it! I beat the Undertaker! <laughs> leave him, leave him there, boys! We can send him a message! Yeah, they may have sent him a message, but. Yeah, Trapped on yes, and uh, Todd and TC's leave all Indian Alliance are leaving here. Whoa! Uh, uh, Taker just sit! Right back up like nothing happened. S he's doing a signature throat slash. Taker, he is not fooling around. After the attack that the Indian Lions made on Undertaker, Taker sits right back up, proving that you cannot kill this man. But I can do this. I'm the leader. I should be brave, right? You two must defend me. Okay. Todd and uh, Trap is gonna be scared shitless, but TC seems to be confident. But I think he's gonna be shit. In deep down inside, you know he's scared shitless. The Taker, even though he got the DQ victory, he stands strong here. He, and the title was not on the line. He'll defend it at Havoc. And the takers lifting the scenery up. Taker, what about what a show before Havoc? I cannot wait for Tisha's gay shit rock like Trapped NCS did. Trapped NCS may have put up a decent fight, but Taker, take out that match one until Tisha had to come and cause qualification. And now Taker is more furious and he's ready to beat Tisha down at Havoc. Well, that's the end of this episode, bro. We'll see you guys at Havoc.